This is the case of Sabah and Saima Khan. In the heart of Bedfordshire, a tranquil family life was torn asunder on a fateful night in May 2016. The brutal murder of Saima Khan, a devoted mother of four, orchestrated by her own sister, Sabah Khan, shocked the community and unraveled a web of betrayal, jealousy and the sinister allure of black magic. In this comprehensive video, we delve deep into the intricate relationships, the heinous act that transpired, the meticulous police investigation and the subsequent trial that sought justice for the victim. The Khan family, united by their Islamic traditions, lived harmoniously under one roof. Unbeknownst to Saima Khan, her sister Sabah had become entangled in a dangerous affair with her husband, Hafiz Rehman. Sabah's infatuation with Hafiz escalated into a toxic obsession, igniting fierce jealousy and animosity between the sisters. Despite attempts to end the affair, Hafiz's affections oscillated, intensifying Sabah's bitterness and driving her to sinister extremes. As Sabah's jealousy grew, she delved into the dark realms of black magic. Researching methods to commit murder and evade justice, she explored avenues such as purchasing poison and venomous snakes. In a chilling turn, Sabah sought the assistance of a black magic practitioner in Pakistan, paying $5,000 to cast a deadly spell on her sister. These malevolent efforts culminated in a horrifying plan to eliminate Saima, forever altering the lives of those involved. But then I heard her shouting suddenly, and when I heard her shouting, I just came out. When I came out, she it was just her shouting. Did you hear anybody else? I didn't hear anybody else. I heard banging. When I heard banging, when I came down, I saw How her like long that. ago was that, roughly? Maybe about half an hour. Half an hour ago. On the late evening of May 23rd, 2016, while the rest of the family was attending a funeral, Sabah Khan deceitfully lured her sister, Saima, back home by falsely claiming that her youngest child needed her presence. At precisely 11.07 p.m., Saima entered the house, innocently turning on the lights. In a cruel twist of fate, the lights dimmed within moments, plunging the hallway into darkness, where Sabah launched a vicious attack. Armed with a knife, Sabah unleashed a frenzied assault, stabbing Saima 68 times in a horrifying act of brutality. The screams of Saima's children, awakened by the commotion, echoed through the house as they innocently inquired if their aunt was killing a mouse. In an attempt to conceal her heinous crime, Sabah resorted to deception. She staged a robbery, breaking a window and meticulously hiding the murder weapon along with her bloodied clothing. Upon their return, family members made a grim discovery, finding Saima's lifeless body. This heartbreaking sight set off a chain of horrifying events, leading to a meticulous police investigation. She'd rehearsed her story time and time again in the planning of this murder, and she was determined, you know, when the police turned up, she was going to get that story out. She was going to divert the investigation. She wasn't crying, and she certainly wasn't what you might call hysterical. Some of the things you might expect to see when you've just found your sister brutally during the investigation, initial suspicions of a botched robbery quickly dissipated as detectives meticulously unraveled the inconsistencies. A, a shift during the investigation where Saba, who'd been the, the prime witness in this case, suddenly became a suspect. Forensic examination played a pivotal role, revealing Saba's bloodied fingerprints and DNA, irrefutably establishing her as the prime suspect. Eight days after the murder, Sabah's charade came to an end when the murder weapon was discovered hidden in her room, leading to her swift arrest. The trial that followed was marked by chilling revelations. Disturbing evidence emerged, including Sabah's incriminating internet searches, correspondence with a black magic practitioner, and her desperate attempts to cover up the crime scene. 
Faced with an overwhelming array of evidence, Sabah changed her plea to guilty, acknowledging her heinous crime. In 2017, justice was served as Sabah Khan was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 22 years. This sentence ensured that she faced the full consequences of her actions, providing a semblance of closure to a family shattered by betrayal and brutality. The tragic tale of Saima Khan serves as a haunting reminder of the depths to which jealousy and obsession can lead, exacerbated by the sinister influence of black magic. This narrative underscores the importance of understanding the complexities of human emotions and the devastating consequences of unchecked envy. The meticulous police investigation and subsequent trial stand as testaments to the pursuit of justice, offering closure to a family shattered by one woman's malevolence.